Okay, and for our final merge, we've got Beast here. Now that I've got his, uh, the one that he's merging onto, I've got two choices. I've got uh, the Barn Drag here, which has got Sir Golf and uh, Resist Earth. Or the stun hit here, which has well, the Balboa here, who has stun hit and wisdom power. Wisdom power is pretty much redundant on this because you don't need wisdom at all. It's a physical um, uh, physical attacker. You don't need wisdom. Resist Earth isn't too bad, to be honest. I was going to go with uh, the Balboa, but I think I'm going to go with the Barn Drake instead. Okay, that's wider variety. That's wider variety. So I'm not getting. I believe I'm getting three pips out of this, either way. So yeah, let's go with the Sigol. Uh, let's go with the Barn Drake instead of the Balboa. So that's Beast 2. Right, and get ready for my final one. No, not drop off. Right, I need guinea. Uh, Ramels, you can come away. And I'm needing a uh, Mac. I'll hatch the eggs in a moment. Uh, Thank you for coming. Status beast. Yes, I got three pips, so I wouldn't have got any more from the Balboa. So yeah, that that's pretty much ready for what I'm doing next. Let's, let's do a bit of hatching, shall we? Because a couple of these are uh, new sort of beasts. I believe I'm showing my merges at the end, or is it at the beginning? I have no idea. But uh, I've picked up this in all my things, uh, Dondrakic Kamatok, uh, which was a reward. So these two are the main ones I want to show, the Buggage and the Leafage. There. Yeah. Now that they're done, uh, the Kamatok first. I won't be using this one. To be honest, I hate the way it looks. Not this uh, form. This form is uh, the standard Mal. Uh, 
but its later form, basically its head is disconnected from its body. It's called the he he, the ha ha and the he ha. It's evolvement if I remember correctly. Basically the lore of it is uh, it laughs so hard that its head drops off. I wish I was joking. Just call it that. Yeah, the Kampma, the Kamatok into its evolvements is fairly ridiculous. And of course, my final one, the Dondrakic, which I will be using eventually. This one turns into the Dongli, the Dongle, and the Don something. Uh, but it is an amazing uh, hit attacker. Not quite as good as the uh, Luck and its involvement, the uh, the oh. The, nag uh, the Naggle Chew and the Ruddle Chew and its final one uh, but uh, it's probably the second no because there's the Geraluck which is uh, a good probably the third best but its uh, speed is slightly better its defense is slightly better and its HP is better. Mostly I think its magic mana points are better. But as with everything, it's a case of um, preference. Yeah, it's only 6 to 4, uh, but it, uh, you can see that its strength is quite high. Uh, speed of 11, so it's only slightly higher for base, I would say, maybe by 2. The heart, the camera talk. Yeah, its stats are actually fairly de decent. It's actually a one of the better males. I think it's the probably the second best male. Uh, the Tamatok is the best. The Kamatok next by uh, it, this is in terms of stats and then there's the Tok itself. Strangely enough I'm using the Tok yeah, later on but uh, and I'm using the Tamatok now but not the Kamatok at all. Yeah that's all based on looks thing anyways thank you moving on may the children of the wood be blessed by Elric.
This is a... You shall fight. And if you lose... You will not. Oh, so that... Yes, thank you. Okay. Thank you very... Well, then. Come this way. Congrats. Now, what will... Okay. Thank you. Well then, come this way. Congratulate now if you win I've come this Thank you ver now or not
Congratulations. Well, it's... You did it, Kim. Here is your pro... Please come back.
The way that one enters always makes me smile a little bit. Uh, yeah, falling down, this making the hole in the ground, getting up as if nothing happened, and then getting into a fight. Very anime esque. This is the Della Getchu. This is the full involvement of the Getchu, and it's uh, equivalent. Uh, it's other involvement which we haven't seen yet. Uh, we see that very soon actually, uh, but uh, it is this is very strong, it's got lots of hit, hit points, it's got quite a bit of strength. This isn't as easy as the ones that we've already faced. This one can be actually a little bit tough. I believe it's got burn attack and uh, shockwave, sonic boom. Uh, and it apparently guards special attacks and I believe it also has an earth ability as well but I'm not sure which one yeah there's burn attack 80 to 84 so not a small amount I pretty much heal for that has a lot of defense as well 95 on a normal attack by my I one and it has dark attack oh so uh, yeah plenty of reason to actually worry about this one lots of physical attacks with high strength yeah I'm actually going to need to heal uh, good thing I have these HP back books Okay, um, let's just heal. I think he'll go down in one, ch um, one more turn, but I don't really want to risk him getting the first attack. So probably the first boss that's actually proven moderately difficult. I did say that the fire one, uh, fire forest is probably the most dangerous uh, quite a while ago. That uh, that should explain some of the reason why. Another thousand experience, a couple of levels, not too bad. And fire walking. Hard cognit, which is a uh, og item. Another lovely gem, of course. And the ruby flame, which is, I believe, the same as the inferno book. Uh, I have an inferno book, which is 80 damage and 60 damage. So not quite the inferno range but uh, one just below it. So that is all four forests done now. So tier two is complete. Next up we've got tier 3, we've got the way of wind, water shade, groundwork and fire walking. I do believe I need it. I have a quest that requires me to go to uh, 
groundwork first, so that is likely where we will be going. Blaze book for 1,200 yen. Okay, I don't think I can get that yet. You want to guess OQ, which I'm not going to be able to do. But yes, the leaf hide from uh, Groundwork. So, once we get back to uh, things going on, we'll be heading off to Groundwork first. Get that, upgrade my... Uh, shop I can then buy uh, inferno books which allow me to start um, merging eggs and getting what I want there is at least three, five five eggs that I can think of that I want from the uh, grade 4 line, the highest grade, uh, so I'm going to need to prob probably um, farm it out and load in and out quite a bit to get what I want. Find something good in the so yeah, let's quickly sell these. I still need that. I'm going to keep that Inferno books up because it's a bit less money to pay out. Yeah, so... Next time I'll have everything ready and we will head off to groundwork. Until then, have a wonderful day. Have lots of fun. Goodbye.